Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to our series of Microsoft in Tune. And in this video, we are going to talk about custom roles available with Microsoft in Tune. Now, if you're watching this series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about the process of onboarding Microsoft in Tune. What are the different license requirements? What are the different roles available by default with which you can make changes to Intune settings? And the agenda of this video will be knowing how to create a custom role for Intune and how exactly the scoping part works for Intune role, which is a really important feature which you should know because that is something which will help you to create more fine grained custom roles. So if we talk about the portals that can be used to customize the settings of Intune, the first one is portal.azure.com and the other one is devicemanagement.microsoft.com. But we will be using devicemanagement.microsoft.com to make all the changes. Now let's proceed in understanding how exactly custom role works in Intune. So the custom role in Intune have two components. The first one is permission and the other one is scope tag. Now permissions are not something new. We have been working and customizing permissions from a long time. It started from AD, then it has Azure AD and now in Intune. But in a nutshell, permission means the privilege given to a user to make changes for some other users or devices. But the question comes that how we are scoping the privilege given to an admin to a limited set of users or devices. That is the entry point for you to understand what exactly scope tag is. Let me explain this in a real time scenario and it will make a lot more sense. Let's say we have two sites, site A and site B. And both the sites have different set of users, groups, and devices. Now, if I tell you a very generic use case that is available in most of the enterprise, and that is both the sites will have different site admin. As well as both the sites will have different set of policies when it comes to data protection or device compliance or device configuration. But there is one more thing which should be available in a nutshell and that is the scope of the privilege that has been given to site A admin should not impact anything on site B. That's why we have two different admins, right? So in a nutshell, if any permission is given to site A admin, he should only be able to make changes the entities which exist in site A, whereas any change he tries to implement for the entities in site B should not be executed. And the same process should be there for site B admin as well. So in a nutshell, think about these two sites as scope tags. That means combining the entities for which a particular role or for which a particular permission given to a user should be applied is in a nutshell called scope tag. So if we talk about the architecture or if we talk about the components of scope tag, scope tag A will be a combination of Azure AD group that consists users of site A as well as devices of site A and scope tag B will be a combination of users that exist in site B as well as devices that exist in site B. Now let's take a step back and understand how these scope tags will work in conjunction with the permissions that we are going to define. So we have these three permissions that can be customized and we have these two different scope tags wherein the access should be given. Let's talk about the site A admin wherein I'm going to allow this particular admin to make changes in the device compliance policies as well as he or she should be able to manage all the devices and manage apps. So I will create a role for this particular user and in the scope tag I will assign this role to a particular scope tag or I will make sure that this role is limited to a particular scope wherein the site A admin making any change should only impact 
the users or the devices which exist in a scope tag A. In a nutshell, the users and the devices that exist in site A are being clubbed in a scope tag named as A. A role is being created with these privileges. That role will be assigned to this particular admin, site A admin. And then that role will be scoped to scope tag A. This is the entire process that you will be doing. And in a nutshell, this will prevent unauthorized access. And you are just adding more layer of securities for all the roles that you are creating. That's why it is so important for you to understand what exactly scope tag is. And the same process can be done for site B admin as well, wherein I am allowing everything apart from management of applications. And the fact is that any change that site B admin will do in Intune configuration is only going to impact the entities of scope tag B, which are in a nutshell, the users and the devices that exist in site B. Let me switch to portal and show you guys how you can create custom role and then things will make a lot more sense. So this is my browser where I have signed in as global admin and I'm signed into the portal called devicemanagement.microsoft.com and then I have clicked on tenant administration and then I clicked on roles. And now as you can see, I'm in that section which will help me to create custom roles. Now if I click on all roles, the roles which are related to Intune will get listed here, as you can see. And if I click on scopes, I'm getting the option to create a scope tag. Now, let's say I have not created any scope tag. By default, the rule that you will create, the custom rule that you will create, will be impacted by all the users and devices or the permissions will make an impact on all the users and all the devices. But if you create a custom scope tag, then the permissions that you are giving will only impact limited set of entities. So for this demo, I have already created two groups for both the sites. So I'll show you what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the first scope tag that I will be using for my role custom role that I'm going to create and let's say I'm going to create this as site tag A and as I've mentioned before that you can actually create groups wherein one group contains user and the other one contains your devices so for this demo I have already created two groups and as you can say it says site A device and site A user I'll select both the groups and then I'll click on create so as of now, what I'm doing is I'm creating a new scope tag that I will be mapping to a new role that I'm creating so that the admins in that particular role or the users in that particular role making any change should only impact the site A users or the users that exist in the group which has been added to a scope tag named as site tag underscore A. Now I'm going to click on all roles and I'm going to create a custom role. Now you can choose any permissions from here. Let's say I want to allow audit data or let's say I'm going to allow endpoint protection reports. Now this is something which you will learn as we will move on with more set of information related to MAM and MDM. But for this demo, think about creating a particular role. So I'm just naming it as custom role, let's say Intune. And now with this custom permissions, which I have given, I'm going to click on scope tag and then I'm going to click on add. And as you'll see, I'm getting this option of site tag A. I'll click on this and I'll click on OK and I will click on create. Now, once this custom role is created, I can actually click on this role and then click on assignment to assign this to different set of users. 
So as you can see, the first option that I'm getting is assignment name. I can simply name it as role. And if you want, you can just add some description to know what kind of information or what kind of changes you have implemented with this particular role assignment. The first option that we see here is members. That means the group that you will add here, the users in that particular group will get the admin privilege that has been defined in this particular role and then you can actually scope these permissions to a specific set of users that belong to another group now what do i mean by this that i have two groups the first one was intune ma'am and this one is password less so what will happen in a nutshell that the users of intune ma'am get the admin privilege which they can use or with which they can implement the changes that is going to impact the password less users and here itself there is no requirement of adding a scope tag because that is something which you have already defined but if you want you can again add the scope tag which we have created initially so in a nutshell this is how exactly custom role assignment works when we have created a custom role and then we got it assigned to a specific set of admins which can perform changes to a specific set of users but scope tag is really important wherein you are defining the scope which is getting limited to some set of users as well as devices so a quick summary of what all we have discussed we have discussed about the custom roles in intune we have discussed about the permissions we have discussed about the most important part which is scope tag and in the next video we are going to talk about intune mom and app lifecycle management now if you guys have some learned something new please feel free to subscribe thank you so much thanks for your time